Hey. 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 It's good to see you. How are you? How are things? How am I? Um, good. I need to shave. I didn't shave this morning. This is like a day and a half. Killing it on those uh, beard gains. Whew, this is a day and a half. I'll have a full-grown mountain man beard in the course of the next 20 seconds. I'm exhausted. I, I know I'm doing the right things. I know that in the end, this kind of stuff that I'm doing will pay off, but... I, I'm exhausted, and and where I'm at, what I'm doing, we moved to Arizona, and in no way was that a bad decision, financially not the smartest, and it all hinged on me figuring out sales in a, a very short timeline due to the financial aspects of that move. I'm... I'm so sleepy. It's not the right way to say it. It's noon right now on a Friday. And I'm going to go to a job orientation. And I guess I'll drink some coffee first. <laughs> Maybe take a little 15-minute power nap in the car. May I... I'm not asking for pity. I'm not throwing a pity party. I'm just tired. <laughs> um... Yeah, we, we sat down and we decided to work multiple jobs while I continue to figure out sales stuff. Um, it's tiring because I'm not successful yet. I'm still learning. I've been, my sales career is three months old. So I'm, I'm not expecting to be the Michael Jordan of sales. But I'm a little hard on myself when I'm, when I'm, uh, I'm a little disappointed my performance and I've transferred over to the call center rather than doing door to door and that's going well there's an hourly wage involved the commissions are smaller so that's helpful I mean that's one job and I've still I'm, I'm driving Uber I don't know if I mentioned that but I've been driving Uber and that that was more money than Postmates though I like Postmates more just because I can listen to whatever I want to listen to and just drop people's food off. But the dollars per hour is less. You get in and out of your car more. You have to worry about parking. They're both great as side gigs. They're, they're fine. Uh, but I'm doing Uber for the higher higher pay per hour on average. And I've been working at the state fair. And soon be replacing the Uber thing with this job orientation. It's a uh, Costco seasonal gig. I'm excited about that because there's there's a lot of different benefits working in Costco. And I don't mean like health benefits, which aren't obvious, but they're, um, you get to see how Costco operates from the inside. Right now I'm at a, a marketing startup. Let's call it that. I'm learning sales. I'm learning entrepreneurialism. I'm learning how to run and manage a business and hire people and train people and, and the sales. That's good. That's very helpful for the wife and I's plans. And I'm getting to see how Costco runs from the inside. I'll learn a lot from that point of view from a more established company. So I'm, I'm actually really excited to see where that goes. Either I, I stay there for two months during the holidays and then leave. Great. For whatever reason, whether they don't keep me on or I go somewhere for a better opportunity. It doesn't it doesn't matter if I stay there because the opportunity is good for me and, and where I can go with it. Great. Great. I'm just excited to see how that company structure works. And it's more reliable than driving Uber. Sometimes you turn, go online, you wait 10 to 60 minutes before you even get a ride. So if you have a certain amount of time set aside to drive, you need to be making money during that time. Costco will be a little more reliable for that. So that's good. The state fair ends on Sunday. It's now Friday. I'll go to that tonight after orientation. We're working three jobs each. <laughs> 
she right now right now she's working at Starbucks and the state fair I actually got that job through her because she started there and uh, we, we moved to Arizona a little late for her to be teaching so in January she's got teaching stuff lined up great right now odd ends and jobs and it's good. We paid off the credit card that we used to move here. The angle's probably all messy, and I'm like out of the screen. Hey, I'm Luke's shoulder talking, but deal with it for a second. It's I just want to post something on YouTube. I, I just want to film something and get it out there. <laughs> I miss it, and I keep making these promises like here's some more content coming, and then I, then I work three jobs and don't, and. Uh, like I said, we're doing the right thing. We, uh, I don't even remember if I mentioned it already. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, we paid off the credit card that helped us move here. That's good. That's good. And we've got a plan to pay off all the student loans. And it's very invigorating. We're looking into different health insurance options right now for, for kids. We both want to start a family. Uh, Maybe those kids are a few weeks out. Maybe those kids are a few years out. It doesn't matter. We're, we're looking into it because it's what we want. And I want it as well. I, I, I say that and I look off into the distance like, help me. That's not. I'm just like 30 seconds away from becoming one with a coma. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that's where we're at. We're just, we're working a lot. Uh, we're trying to hold our relationship together while working a lot. You see each other every... When you relieve each other on breaks at the fair or random hours at night, we'll sit at home and drink tea and play chess. It's really relaxing. And sometimes not relaxing because we're both very competitive. And we'll back up two or three moves and help each other. and We're just trying to get better at chess. Just like a, a, a game we can play together. It's fun. It's fun. <sighs> My car smells like horses right now. And I can't tell if it's because last night I ran an appointment that we then interacted with the person's horses. Or if I'm just smelling coffee. Or if I'm imagining it. I don't know. Maybe it's on my shoes. Maybe. Maybe. I worked with horses back in 2011 and I miss them. They're very intelligent. They're wonderful creatures. Don't know what else to say. That's where we're at. Just working a lot. I, I appreciate you watching the video. <laughs> I'm, I've still got that list of videos I want to film. Oh, excuse me. Um, I think with this Costco thing, I'll be able to do the call center in the mornings till evening time. And then in the evening you do Costco. I'm, I could fit filming into the early, early mornings from five to 8 AM. It's usually when I'm doing some kind of studying errands, bill pay, workout. That's like lifetimes from five to 8 AM. And then you work, you work the fair until 10, 11, midnight, what have you. Whew, how do you do that? Anyone who's ever worked multiple jobs, how do you, how do you manage your time? How do you, how do you manage your energy and get the things done that you want to get done while you're, while you're working that much or What's your plan to get out of such situations? Because I don't want to work two and three jobs the rest of my life. It, I know it's short term. We've talked about having it just the next year or two while we get out of debt. Honestly, not a bad plan. And it's clearly working. But this isn't sustainable. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to turn my AC back on. I'm going to take a little power nap. I'm going to go to this orientation. I'm going to rock it. And we'll update you again later. Thank you for watching.
Have a good weekend. Come to the Arizona State Fair. <laughs> Come throw some baseballs and basketballs and footballs at, at our booth. It's, it's fun. Bye. And if I may.